I thought I'd buy another spot welder to test because it was eight quid. I paid eight pounds for it, including shipping. You get a bag of literally bits. Well, anyway, I'm going to build it and we're going to try it. That's only one, two, three, four, five hundred amps maximum. I presume they're 100 amp FETs anyway. I keep getting this question, I still get this question to date on the comments of what's the best spot welder? There isn't one. There just isn't one. Unless you get an all inclusive or a self, if it's batch, sorry, fuck <laughs> bollocks. If it's an all in one unit you plug in the mains, I don't know because I've never used one, I don't use them, I don't see the point of them. They're too expensive, then they're shit. And you've got no freedom to do what you want to do, where you want to do it. Anyway, I always use battery powered ones. Now, with regards to what's the best spot welder, this one. Or it could be the other one, or it could be the other one. It doesn't matter. It's whatever's best for your situation. And it also matters about what battery you've got. The battery is the heart of absolutely everything. You cannot underestimate the need of a good battery. This thing, if I put a 9 volt AA battery on it, it's not going to do a bloody lot. Or even two of them in series to make 18 volts. It's not going to do a lot. So your battery's got to be able to deliver the current to actually do the spot weld itself. I can make this work perfectly, but you get it and it's shit. Because my battery is a lot more powerful than yours. And someone's going to say, no it isn't because <laughs> I know some people with big batteries anyway this has got a bullet is it got a, oh it's got a buzzer it's got a buzzer on it and I'm going to put the buzzer on there like that there's no descriptions with this no diagram no nothing and I'll put the display on there somehow oh is that all oh that's all we need to do and then bolt it all together. Right, I'm going to put it together and then we'll try it. I didn't video the putting it together because it's just, it's easy. Um, you put the LED thing on that, or oh, it goes that way, doesn't it? Yes. So you put the LED thing on that. Uh, the capacitor goes there. It's actually marked positive, which is that side. The negative is marked that side. The buzzer goes that side. It's actually marked somewhere, I think it's underneath there, positive, that's all you need to do and the cables you just wire them like that and I've put a very overkill XT90 on it purely because I've got an XT90 here and this XT90 goes to my uh, small what two or three thousand amp um, super capacitor bank that I use for frying everything which is currently at 12.9 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in. I need to get my board. This is probably going to sit on fire. OK, we've got the board. We've got this. We've got that. We've got everything we need. I don't know what's going to happen. This has got two buttons on it. I don't know what the buttons do. On the website, it's the only one with no instructions, and I can't find what they do. Why would you have two buttons? Anyway, let's plug it in. Oh god, this connector's a bit... Yeah, it's a bit fried. That is literally just an incremental decrement, that's all. So, we'll try it at D01. I'm going to get some of this ridiculously thin nickel. I'm going to cut two strips. You can't hurt yourself by touching these tips. Uh, even if it was to fire now, it wouldn't hurt because you're only talking 13 volts, you, you wouldn't even feel it unless you got bloody hands or something like that, then you'd probably die, but... Now you've got to bear in mind that, that my capacitor bank is pumping out, or it, it'll do 3000 amps. That's just about held it at what the lowest possible setting. Yours on the lowest possible setting probably won't. Let's go to 25%. That's actually, it's gone through, yeah, it's got, it's got it. Even I'm not stupid. Right, 
that's actually a good weld. I don't know how. What's getting not? No. 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 Everything's cold. 50. 75. 100. <laughs> I'm not scared. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. So it won't handle a mine. This is 99.9% .9 pure nickel and as I've said times many the way you can tell is pure nickel doesn't spark. That's 0.15 that they've included. So we've got 0.25 there. And we're still running 100%. <laughs> It's done it, and it's burnt through, burnt through the wood as well. It's actually done 0.25 mil. Now it needs knocking up to 100. I know it's not the tidiest, <laughs> but it works. Yeah. Well they've held. Eight pounds that cost me. Eight pounds. So I don't know if you can see but on this it goes down in ones and then it goes up in fives. This is sort of a very sort of beginner sort of stage sort of sort of sort of you know what I mean. Um, but anyway I'll leave the link in the description you can go and buy it or don't buy it I don't give a shit. Um, and now I'm going to give it away to one of my patrons.